Hello, Robert. First of all, thank you. Thank you for everything you, you transmit with your words. And um, my question would be if, if you could give me some advice in, in how to deal with pain, with physical suffering that it's been there over the years and sometimes it's um, affecting my meditations or my my life in general but also affecting the things i want to do in spirituality and this in one side um, as you said before we remember god through adversity and through suffering and for me this was the way to to start the spiritual path uh, this suffering made me start uh, the path. So this in one hand and also the struggle to always find a, a cure for the pain and for the chronic illness and not finding it and living with it and yeah. trying to find a balance between these physical remedies and the spiritual realm um, or I don't know your advice on how to deal with this and also i'm now uh, leaving this pain a little bit aside because i'm taking care of a person my father who is dying uh, of uh, cancer is in his last stages so i'm somehow surrounded by pain and i'm i have to deal with all of this so i would uh, thank you your advice <coughs> Sylvia, the first thing to say is that it's completely natural to resist physical pain. That is why I make a very clear distinction between physical pain and psychological suffering. So the, the resistance we feel to physical pain is not the resistance that defines the ego or separate self. It is entirely natural and not just natural, necessary to resist physical pain. So um, don't feel that, that somehow your resistance of your physical pain, your desire to get rid of it, is somehow a failure of your understanding or an egoic yeah. resistance. It, it is not. It is a natural and necessary part of human life. And as a result of your resistance or our resistance to pain, we do everything we can to uh, diagnose it and seek a cure and you you have obviously or you are doing that you have obviously done that so once we have done everything we possibly can do to uh, find the the uh, cause uh, of the pain and, and alleviate it then we have to accept it i'm working on that and when I say we have to accept it, I don't mean to imply that you as a person should struggle against your instincts to accept something which really you cannot accept. No, I don't mean that. It, what I mean is you, you have to know yourself and feel yourself as the space of awareness, which is inherently, naturally accepting. The space of a room doesn't have to practice accepting what takes place within it. So don't, don't, uh, don't turn this into a practice that you try to do with your mind because your mind will rebel and say, no, I, I don't accept this pain. Uh, it, yeah, and it's, it's I want to run. I want to run. It's natural for your mind. Let your mind have its... Uh, uh, let your mind resist your physical pain. That's what it should be doing. That's what it's natural to do. It's, it's you, you the presence of awareness. You, your nature is to be accepting, allowing, open without resistance. It's not something you have to practice. It's what you already are. If, if, if you were not this allowing presence, then this acceptance would have to be something you practiced. You'd have to make the effort to do it. But ju just notice, and, and notice to begin with when the pain is not too intense that, that the pain is already accepted by awareness it, it is a, um, a more or less intense sensation an intense cloud floating 
in the space of awareness. Be that space of awareness and uh, relate to the sensation from that point of view. And then even as I was saying um, previously to John, you could, you could begin to feel that you visualize the sensation like a cloud floating weightlessly in the sky of awareness and feel that all over the entire porous surface of the sensation you breathe this loving emptiness of awareness into it and with, with, with each inhale you feel that you the loving emptiness of awareness percolates a little bit more deeply into the sensation just experiment um, treating the sensation in this way absolutely no resistance to it not because you have made an effort not to resist it but because it is your nature as awareness not to resist it so you have this very loving attitude open accepting loving attitude towards this tight knot and be careful you don't do this as a subtle way to get rid of the sensation no, you're, you're, you're doing the opposite. You're, you're befriending the sensation. You're breathing love and emptiness, transparency yeah. into it. Yeah, because there is the danger in myself after so many years struggling with this, in, uh, having the obsession to get cured or be fine. Yes. And that's, that has become the, the center point yeah. in my life. L let your mind do that. L let your mind have its project of of curing you relieving pain that's perfectly natural it's what your mind should be doing let it do that let it carry on whatever research is necessary don't don't give up whatever research you're undertaking keep going with that but mm -hmm. completely aside from that to take some time out from from the mind's um, project Take some time out where you where you're no longer listening to the mind. You're, you're you're being the space of awareness, and you have this completely different approach. The mind is trying to get rid of the pain and cure it. You, awareness, are doing the opposite. You're secretly you're not letting the mind know about this. You're, over here, you're doing the opposite. You're quietly befriending the pain, making doing the one thing that you've probably never done fully in your life which is totally accepted welcome it bring it close rather than push it away yeah that's true and maybe now this situation i'm living with the illness of my father is also helping me not to focus too much on my self with that mental activity but to leave that aside to take care of another yes thing that yes it's more important or I don't know or more relevant now so maybe this is something that has been put uh, before me yes yes possibly this situation is um, ushering in or cooperating with this new approach to your circumstance yes thank you Rupert.